You could call it confirmation. The slayings in San Bernardino offered more proof that violent terrorists are among us and waiting to strike. Seeking clues and collaborators, law enforcement asked a federal court to force Apple to provide access to the dead suspect's encrypted phone data. Apple fought back, claiming surrender of the so-called back door would threaten the privacy of millions. What a lot of people took from the San Bernardino case and the FBI's actions there was that the government will stop at nothing to get access to data and will trample all sorts of reasonable arguments, reasonable precautions in order to get there. That's Van Lindberg of data storage firm Rackspace, one of several industry and academic experts gathered by Congressman Ted Poe and Pete Olson for a summit on balancing privacy and law enforcement needs in an era of encryption. A back door. The panel's unanimous finding, in this country, privacy rights trump the often compelling demands of national and local security. And without a warrant from a court, that information should be held secret uh, because the government doesn't have the authority under our Constitution to just go grab it. I think that when we provide the perception for the public that we have some secret backdoor kind of way to do things, that trust is eroded. But the human price of that privacy could be high if it cripples counterterrorism, prompting an urgent call for private public cooperation within the Constitution. The terrorism threats, the cybersecurity threats, the technology industry and government need to be able to work together, and we need to be able to show that the right oversight and controls are there over what the government does so that people can have trust and confidence in the way that they're being protected.